Oh man, so it's just finished. Spurs one, Wolves two. And what do we say about these fixtures? When we go away to these big, so-called big clubs and we're underdogs, we were four to one just to win today. We're always, it just suits us to a T. I said it last week, the Brentford games at home where we have to break teams down, we can't do it. But these games where we have to soak up the pressure and hit teams on the counter-attack, like we did at Chelsea, like we've done again today. And we've come out of another famous victory away from home. Another famous victory at White Hart Lane as well. A fantastic day for João Gomez getting the double of all people. I mean, if you'd have bet on that before the game, you'd have got absolutely massive odds. But yeah, on the team, Hwangi Chan was back. That was the big news. Hwangi Chan uh, was in for Cunha. Thought he did okay today. Um, all the rest of the team was the same. And yeah, first half, we were absolutely brilliant. We were the better team. I thought we controlled Spurs really well. We had the better chances. That really early chance, um, Samedo had a shot, saved, come out to Hwangi Chan. He has a tap in, and I think it come, come at him just too quick. So he blasted it over the bar. Um, yeah, I had Samedo uh, as first goal scorer at 66 to 1. So when he hit that, I was obviously praying it would go in. But yeah, so that was a, a, a you know a, a, an opportunity to go go in the lead and they, we had a few chances like that on the counter as well uh, Neto was absolutely flying at them um, there was a ball over from Dawson it was a great ball actually in Sarabia I think he was offside anyway but he made, he made uh, the keeper pull off a really good save and he probably should have scored it uh, Huang had a, had a few chances as I said and then but out of like nothing really we get a corner um, good ball in and then Gomez just unmarked, header into the corner, and you're like, wow, of all people, not only have we scored off a set piece, which feels quite rare, Jao Gomez is the one to do it. So absolutely buzzing for him. He had an absolutely fantastic game today, all over the pitch, breaking up play well, tackling, putting his body on the line. But yeah, to get that header, to put us 1-0 up, he looked absolutely delighted right in front of those Wolves fans in the corner. was unbelievable. Um, and we, we thoroughly deserve the lead. Uh, we, we, I mean... By a mile, really, in my opinion. Spurs had a couple of chances, but as I said, we controlled them really well. So going into half time, I just couldn't couldn't have been happier. We had, you know, we had the more shots on target and everything. And uh yeah, so but we do the <laughs> we do the one thing Gary O'Neill probably was desperate for us not to do, and that was conceding early goal. And it weren't just early, it was literally seconds into the into the replay, and Kulisevsky just wriggles his way through and um you could kind of blame Dawson a bit I don't know but maybe they didn't want to give a penalty away and then he like just toe pokes it through Sar's legs and it was so undeserved really for how good we were first half just to uh to have them go get an equalizer so easily was just a kick in the teeth really and it was a I honestly thought at that point I must say I thought the um the things would sway a bit and they'd be they'd go on to get the win. That was my instant thought. I was like, oh, that's the last thing we need. But again, our character as a team, whenever we get a setback, it, they, don't, they don't get to them. It, they don't let it get to them. So, yeah, we just kept plugging away. And to be honest, Spurs were putting the pressure on, uh, especially in those early parts of the second half. But they get they get a corner, Spurs. Ball comes in. We break away. And the, the pace on Pedro Neto for this goal once he gets the burners on, no one's catching him. One end of the pitch to the other, absolute flying up the pitch. It was, but I'll tell you what, Gomez did well to get up with him, to be honest. Um, he slots it back to Gomez, as you know. Great little pass, another assist for Neto, and a great finish by Jao Gomez to get his second goal on the day. And what a goal. And at this point, obviously, it's just carry on and try and get a third, really. The Spurs obviously put a lot of pressure on. Belgard did come on and he had an absolutely fantastic chance again on the counter-attack. The ball just about gets out to him. He takes a cut inside, tries to slot into the corner and it gets blocked. So that could have easily been 3-1 that would have killed off the game. But because that chance didn't go in, it was very squeaky bum time at the end. We had to do a lot of good defending. I'll tell you what, Dawson was shaky in moments, probably for the goal, but I thought he was brilliant for the rest of the game. Kilman was solid. Toti Gomez had a fantastic game as well. Absolutely brilliant at that left side of the centre-back. Everyone did well, but Nelson Samedo, especially defensively today, unbelievable 10 out of 10 defensive performance from a right wing-back. He's When he's on it, Samedo, he's absolutely fantastic. He's one of the, I think he's one of the best right-backs in the league, or in Europe, honestly, when he's on it. Obviously... He's got uh, up his game a bit going forward in terms of assists and goals. He don't really get involved too much, but his defensive work is unbelievable. He was fantastic today. If it weren't for Jao Gomez getting two goals, 
Nelson Samada probably would have been my man of the match. Eight Nori was fantastic on the other side as well. Getting involved with a lot of the counter-attacks again. He always bombs up to get involved. So, unbelievable. After the setback of Brentford to go away to Spurs and win, which I think a lot of Wolves fans quietly thought we could do. It's unbelievable. All credit to Gary O'Neill again. The big miss of Cunha. We, we, you know, we cope without him, having Huangi Chan in there. And it's just an unbelievable performance. What a weekend. It's always a great weekend when Wolves win. Enjoy your Saturdays, Wolves fans. As I said, Xiao Gomez, my man of the match with a big double. And let's go on. Let's keep trying to plug away. I'm not going to mention the E word because <laughs> every time I do, we seem to go and lose the next week. So let's just keep doing what we can do. And yeah, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic from Wolves. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you all for the next video.